It's Gideon from Mana Entertainment here with an honest review about Spider-Man for the PS4. And um, I'm about to rip into it, guys. To be honest, uh, I didn't think it was the best game ever. So if you're interested in seeing the review, uh, check out the gameplay footage of me recording it. Which, by the way, I recorded it like old school. Like recording the TV screen and I was talking in the background. I don't have a capture card, so... Sorry, and um, yeah, before you think that I'm just going to be hating or whatever, so uh, this is clearly a house that likes Spider-Man, so yeah, this is my, for my daughter's birthday party, Spider-Man, we like Spider-Man, oh, and that's not all, how about this guy, Spider-Man, which, uh, let's see here. This is one of the stealth missions. This is one of the least, the, the less annoying ones that I've done in this game. I'm playing it like an idiot, of course. See, one of the biggest problems I have with this game is this reticule thing. That worked this time. That's cool. That was holding L2 and pressing triangle to get the person. What I can't stand is this thing. See, it looks like it's supposed to be the square button, and it is, but there's times where it looks like it's the square button, and instead of actually doing what I just did, he'll do this. Which he's not even doing. He'll do that. And then I'll get caught, and it messes up the whole mission. And it sucks. And another thing is, right now, I've been holding R2 this whole time, and you see what he's doing, right? You see this. He's not even attempting to web swing, which he could have done several times. Didn't even attempt, man. It's one thing I can't stand in this game. Oh, of course. <laughs> yeah, so much for stuff there. Last time I'm going to try this mission, then I'm just going to move on, because this game gets me incredibly frustrated. For all the potential and all the good things that it has... It's really freaking annoying how the control is so bad in this game. I don't understand how people have, could have given us such great reviews. <sighs> wow. What the hell was that all about? Danger, but this guy right here, he's safe. And now this guy is safe. Now, Spider-Man can obviously bundle them up at the end of a mission, but he can't do so in this mission. Of course not. He wouldn't be able to do that. Only in story mode. What to do about this guy? Oh, look, another guy. Where did he come from? They're so cute when they're sleeping. Oh, now you web swing. That's great. Whenever you decide to, conveniently. And my R2 is not messed up, guys. My R2 button is definitely not messed up. Man, he literally did not see that coming, Spidey. Danger. Oh, 
that. I'm gonna get a horrible score for this. Please jump. That's it. Done for the. I don't even attempt to get three stars in in these challenges because it's so freaking annoying and the control is so bad. I mean, I'll show you guys what I mean probably by doing one of the. It's either going to be a drone or a bomb challenge next. Control's pretty bad. I'm playing on a regular PS4, by the way. I'm not playing on the Pro. So that could be one of the reasons why I'm not too impressed by the graphics. I mean, it looks good for what it is, but it doesn't look like it couldn't have been done on the PS3. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not personally too impressed by the graphics in this game. No, that's a combat challenge. Oh, combat. Yeah, let's do combat. Let me show you what I mean by combat in this game. And look, I'm web swinging, right? Holding R2. So yeah, you hold R2 longer, you go up higher. But one thing I really hate is sometimes you go so low or you have no control of where you're web swinging in this game that you do things like this. You, you end up going like right next to, into a building sometimes and it slows down your momentum when you're doing things like, like speed challenges or trying to catch the drones or pigeons or what have you. I don't like Peter Parker's voice. I wish that he sounded like somebody that actually was born and raised in Queens like he is in the comics. You know, even Stan Lee sounds like he was born and raised in Queens. But, um, can I please go down? Thanks. Uh, right. Yeah. I don't like his voice, but the, the writing is really good. They, they do really good dialogue. They do capture the essence of Peter Parker in, in terms of comedy and stuff like that. But, um... Why? It took me forever to learn when I was being shot at because the spider sense, I don't know if it's because I have HDR on, but spider sense takes forever to, or not forever, it's hard to see. And that gets me pissed. Why does Spider-Man take so much damage from this weak, like, thug? You know what I'm saying? Like, he's just a regular dude. He's not even anybody special. And look at my life bar. I need to be healing constantly all the time. I don't know what people were talking about when they were saying, oh, that this game is so easy and, and they need to make it harder. Like, are they playing the same game as me? Like, what are they talking about? Look at this. Where did he come from? My goodness. Oh my god. I just need to be swinging around all day. <laughs> and that's my Spider-Man experience with the combat. I'm not a noob in game, okay? I I've been playing games forever since I was a little kid, so... This is my experience with Spider-Man now, and I hate it. I'm not having fun with it. The only time I really do have fun with this game is when I'm going through the story missions, when I'm actually, um, you know, trying to, to, to beat the game. But I'm also doing these, these stupid challenges that you're seeing me do here because I want to unlock the costumes. And right now, I think I have all the costumes that I can unlock. Unlocked. Yeah, I do. But I can't power up certain things so like for this see you need challenge tokens for this kind of thing so um yeah that kind of stuff and i hate that it feels like it's a forced thing like why do i need challenge tokens to unlock things that should just be unlockable as you progress through the game my goodness man really
Give me a freaking break. I'm going to run and heal. Yeah, I'm leaving the mission. I am leaving the mission. Screw that. Way too freaking difficult. I'm not trying to become a master in a game with horrible controls. I'm not trying to do that at all. For a abandoned mission, please. For a game that has been delayed for as long as it was delayed, and it was hyped for so long, and this was supposed to be Sony's, like, big, great exclusive, you know, after, like, God of War and stuff like that, like, I'm really not impressed by this game, like, it, I don't know if you guys can tell on my screen, but maybe on the PS4 Pro it looks better, but the geometry of this game looks very rudimentary, like, this looks like it could have, like, it could have been running on, like, I, I don't want to say 360, because that's, that's not fair, but it looks like it could have been running on... On a, you know, PS, on a higher end PS3 engine, basically. This doesn't look like something that I would expect from a PS4, especially after playing the new God of War, which I'm extremely impressed and I love that game. Only reason I'm playing this game is because I rented it on Gamefly because I wanted to see what all the hype was about. And, you know, honestly, I've enjoyed Spider Man games in the past, and Spider Man 2 on the PS2 was a great game. I feel that the control was a lot tighter than this game. Um, you know, this game obviously does a lot of new things, which previous Spider-Man games didn't do. And, oh god, one thing, see, I hate how low I was swinging there. Like, why does he need to swing so low? Why, Spider-Man? Like, don't you like the air? Don't you like being up there in the air? Like, I, I understand there's nothing to swing from up there, but holding R2, I'm holding R2, and look at how low I get. Why? Why do I need to swing so low? Are you gonna tell me it's realistic physics? Because it's not in the rest of the game. Because I don't care what spider powers you have, if you fall from a certain distance, you're going to go splat, spider or not. And, uh, you know, I can prove that point if I go all the way up to the... You know what? Let's do that. Let's go all the way up to the tallest building in the game, which is the Avengers building. Now, that is one thing I will say is very cool in this game. Uh, one thing I, I will say that I really loved about this game is that they are very good at incorporating um, other Marvel stuff. What the hell was that? Holding R2 trying to go up. Anyway, they're very good at incorporating like the other Marvel, especially MCU stuff, but not just MCU. Like they have the bar where Matt Murdock and Foggy always go to in, in the Daredevil um, comics, obviously, and in the series for Netflix. They have Alias Investigations, which is Jessica Jones. You know, right here, this is the Avengers building. So, um, you know, they got stuff like that. They got the raft. They pay a lot of attention to details, but oh gosh. Wait, Spidey, wait. Uh, I really feel like the controls all over the place though. Like, look at this. Why can't he? Go? Why in other Spider-Man games I would have been able to crawl up here, but in this game for whatever reason it will not let me do it. How how, how is this game getting the praise that it's gotten? Is what I want to know. It's so buggy, and then like it's so many missions are messed up. But yeah, the positives about this game is um. The graphics are alright, um, it's smooth at least, the frame rate is smooth, it's not ja janky or anything. But look at that, physics, real life physics guys. I would have been dead as hell if I did that, Spider-Man or not, in front of the Avengers building, so... Spider-Man must be Cosmic Spider-Man, using powers that I didn't know he had, it's regular Spider-Man. But, um, yeah, I don't like the control of this game, it's really bad, and in the combat, I don't know if, if, if I said it or not, but... In the combat, I don't know where enemies are coming from unless I look at the radar. But half the time, I'm not looking at the radar because I'm trying to pay attention to if my spider sense is going off. Because I'm, I get shot and destroyed. Oh, and to make matters better, guess what? Guess what difficulty I'm playing? Let's see, what, where's the, the, the options? Here. Settings. Settings. Game. I am on friendly. I am on the second to easiest challenge that there is. Only reason I didn't do friendly neighborhood is because um, it skips like the QTE, the quick time actions, which I think are actually kind of fun. So I, I like that part of the game. But my goodness, like the combat, I am getting murked on the easiest difficulty. And, you know, I, I don't understand how I'm supposed to be enjoying this. But let's see, stealth challenge, drone challenge. Let's do one of those. This is where I get the most heated with this freaking game. It's on the damn drone challenges. <sighs> Let's go to it. Why, Spidey, why? 
Holding R2. Okay. All right. Stop. 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 All right. Let's do this one drone challenge. And um, yeah, that's going to be it for my gameplay. The rest will be just me uh, chatting. All right. Let's do this. I'm going to try to do this good, guys. So I'm not trying to screw up here, right? One. Okay. Not bad so far. Okay, now I want to go up. See, why the hell do I need to swing so damn low? It's going to kill my time. It's the problem I have with this game. I mean, even when I'm not in a time challenge, like, can I please not swing so freaking low all the time? Like, there should be an option. Look at that. And then he jumps up so high. Like, why, Spidey? There should be an option at least to, to control, you know, your, your altitude. Like, something. I don't know. Like, make it make it so that, like... You know, you could press the press up or down on the D-pad or something. Like, I don't know, man. I just, I just don't like how the swinging mechanics work in this game at all. I really don't like it. I'm pretty sure there's people that'll play this game and they'll be like, "Oh, what a noob you are!" And yeah, maybe for this kind of game, I'm a noob. But you won't say that to me when we're playing Street Fighter because I'll wreck you, son. <laughs> By the way, I grew up in New York City, so, um, you know, uh, they, they are pretty faithful to the architecture of the city. One thing I will say is that um, at least the townspeople in this game, you know, the, the, the NPCs, at least they sound like New Yorkers for the most part. But um, I wish everybody else did. Like, none of the other main characters do. Like, not Peter Parker, not Aunt May, not, um, you know, uh, not uh, what's MJ... Nobody, nobody sounds like like they like they were in New York City at all. And there we go. I failed. Abandoning that challenge. Yep, I'm done. Yep, so that was my impressions of the PS4 Spider-Man developed by Insomniac Games exclusively for the PlayStation 4. I don't think it's a great game. If I have to be honest, I will give it a 6 or a 7 out of 10 if that even means anything. So pros the pros that i have for the game is the graphics are okay music is really good it's epic it sounds like something out of the movies um the the story it's not faithful to any of the the storylines that i know any of the comics but they do a good job of making the story it's well written the dialogue is very well written and um aside from that what else do i like about the game i like all the references to other marvel stuff that they have in the game uh, especially it's cool playing as Miles Morales even though he's not Miles Morales Spider-Man yet he's just a kid you know you get to see a little bit of his backdrop that's kind of cool I'm about 64% done with the game I'm trying to beat it before um, Monday which today is Sunday so I got a, a, a bit more to play I'm gonna skip those side missions and just rush through the game so I could beat it um yeah so that's what I think about Spider-Man 4 that's the good things the bad things are is that control uh, is horrible. I think that it's it's all over the place. As I showed you some examples in the videos, like sometimes I'm trying to swing to where I think I would swing in a normal Spider-Man game, and I'm like either hitting the wall or going too low. I'm, I'm barely able to keep up with things, and um, the camera is horrible. In combat, you know, in combat, the combat is frantic. Is fre um, the combat is hectic. So while you're here trying to focus on Spider-Man staying alive, right? Because the spider sense is not the most, like, it, it's not, it doesn't stand out to me as much as, like, Batman does, for example, when in, you're playing the Arkham games, when you know he's going to get hit. You see that indicator, and you know, oh, snap, okay, let me dodge, let me press the dodge button or whatever. Stealth mechanics, the same thing. Like, sometimes you see the icon, and you don't really know if, what that means, if it's good or not. And um, I just feel that, like, gameplay-wise, it's not good. It's not good at all. And this is not to hate on Insomniac, okay, because I played uh, their other games, Infamous, and I think uh, Infamous 2 was its second son. I forgot what it's called. But I played those games and they feel like they control a lot tighter and a lot better for what they do. But I feel like when you try to take the system that Infamous was known for that was good and try to slap Spider-Man onto it, it just doesn't work. I think they need to go back for the sequel. I know they're doing a sequel. So they need to go back, do their homework and study what made the previous Spider-Man games good. And, you know, hopefully this feedback, because I am not the type of person, I don't buy into hype, all right? So... If you tell me that you love this game because it's the only other game that was contender for Game of the Year for PS4, 
doesn't do it for me. If you tell me you love this game because it's been, you've been waiting for it so long and you were so hyped, I don't care. It doesn't mean anything to me. What means I'm going to review a game based on the game. I'm not saying that, you know, it's a bad game by, by any stretch of the word. Like, it's not a bad game. I'm playing it. If, if I thought it was a really bad game, I would have turned it off. I would have returned it. That would have been the end of the story. But I definitely don't think it's worth the hype. So if you have issues with gameplay not being as tight or as accurate as you would like, if you have issues with, with the camera being, like, you know, kind of all over the place or not being very specific... And if you don't like swing mechanics like what I've shown you or, or controlling the game in a way that doesn't, that I don't think makes sense, then then you'll love this game. If you're just playing it and you're a kid or you're just like a parent buying it for a kid and you want them to enjoy a Spider-Man game, why not? Give it a shot, you know? But other than that, I can't recommend this game. I don't normally do game reviews, but this game got me so pissed off because of the hype that it got also. So my bar was much higher. I set my bar much higher when I was playing this game. Um, same thing with God of War. I played God of War and I set my bar much higher, but it actually exceeded what I expected. Whereas I set my bar much higher for Spider-Man and it's way below what I expected. If everybody didn't hype it up so much and say it was a great game, I probably would have thought, hey, it's not bad. It's not a bad game. You know, six, out of, six or seven out of ten is not a bad review. But to consider it for game of the year, you've got to be kidding me, man. I'm, I'm sorry. Like, I'm sorry if it pisses you off or if you don't like my opinion. That's, you know, that's really up to you if you don't like it. If you like it, cool. If not, that's not my problem. Sorry, not sorry. Anyway, Gideon from Man Entertainment. Peace.